So this area is obviously the high street and this is where things happen. Uh, right now there's vehicles coming up and down the road. I don't know what's going on here. This board here, you'll see these folks uh, and it has what's on. Now this is going to tell you what the uh, performances are on the Royal Mail today. But there's nothing there. Somebody's forgot to write that. A couple of just put their own performances through a venue that we're doing. This is going to be all the street performances that are happening. Now I've got to say, uh, I'm not very happy about how organised this Edinburgh Fringe Festival is. The official day is the 4th of August, but it starts a couple of days before with street performances and uh, venues doing early performances. But I'm not convinced whatsoever. There's something different about this year. It's, the atmosphere is there, but it's just not organised. I mean, we usually have marshals, uh, and we don't have that this year. I haven't seen one for Edward Finch Marshall. Uh, it's very disappointing. Very disappointing. I don't know what you guys think. If you're visiting the Fringe, have you seen it different before? But yeah, it's totally different this year. Right, so we're continuing our trip down the Royal Mile here in Edinburgh. And we're trying to dodge all the vehicles. Which I have no idea why cars are here. I don't understand why uh, taxis are coming up here though. This year uh, is a wee bit disorganised. Uh, vehicles uh, are still being allowed to travel down the Royal Mile when it's completely busy. Uh, the council haven't closed the barrier yet, so it's a wee bit negligence on their part, not closing the barrier. I don't know why they're not doing that. You've got all these amazing street performances yeah. performing and people have to move out the street, which is causing mass massive issue here in Edinburgh. Right. I'm always positive on this channel, right? I'm really, really positive. I want to have a positive vibe when you come to Edinburgh. I want to, I, I want you guys to enjoy coming to Edinburgh, but don't get caught up in a scam. This guy here, handing out balloons, he is called a scammer. He is handing out balloons that he's not even made up and then giving them to the kids so it then forces the adult to pay for it or give a donation. It's 100% a scam. Don't fall for that. He is scamming people. Don't fall for that whatsoever. You don't want your child to have a balloon that's not even made up. It's just tangled around. Give it to the child. Yeah, so you know what I mean? So she's falling for that. You know what I mean? So what can I say? As I say, it is a scam. Uh, they do expect more than a pound. Uh, but if you just want to hand a pound over for a balloon, which costs probably less than 10p, uh, then just hand a pound over for your child if it makes them happy. But it's 100%. It's the first scam I've seen in Edinburgh here for a while. You don't get many scams in Edinburgh, but they all seem to come out during the French Festival for tourists. And it's not nice for the city. But, makes my blood boil but let's continue